received a package from Arrow Video which included two Blu-rays including The Mutilator and Why Don't You Just Die. Today I'm going to be reviewing Why Don't You Just Die and tomorrow's review will be The Mutilator. Why Don't You Just Die is a Russian 2018 horror comedy action movie I absolutely loved it. Meeting the parents doesn't go so smoothly. Shades of early Tarantino, Edgar Wright and Sam Raimi abound in this violent, stylish and righteously entertainment slice of family life, Moscow style, described as a splatterpunk action comedy drenched in gleeful dark Russian humour, and an amazing first time feature for a filmmaker to watch. Matvey had just one objective, to gain entry to his girlfriend's parents apartment and kill her father with a hammer to uh, restore her honour. But all is not as it initially seems, as Matt Vey's attempts to bludgeon the family patriarch to death don't, go qui don't quite go to plan, as, Aud as Audrey proves a more formidable, not to mention ruthless, opponent than he anticipated, and Matt Vey, for his part, proves stubbornly unwilling to die. Making his feature debut, writer-director Krill Soklov presents a rousing tale of family, modern relationships and the dark places they can take you when things turn sour. Featuring a soundtrack that veers between western race and toe-tapping catchy pop numbers, Why Don't You Just Die delivers laughs, shocking twists and copious quantities of blood and gore and, es and establishes Sokolov as one of cinema's brightest rising stars. I absolutely love this film. I watched it, it's about 100 minutes, and it went really fast. It's one of the most fast-paced films I've ever seen. It's all it's mainly set in one location, and it's the father's apartment, but you don't get bored of that location whatsoever, as it's such a rich narrative. It's very Tarantino-esque. There's a lot of debate online whether it's a horror film, an action film, a comedy film. I believe it's everything, it's got some really dark humour in there and the blood and gore is enough for a horror film. I do believe that um, it is kind of a horror film but it doesn't have a lot of horror tropes. This release by Arrow Video only came out this month and it has loads of special features on there as any Arrow Video release does, including the including a brand new interview with the author and critic, exclusive behind the scenes footage from rehearsals and the film set, four short films by the director of this film, um, a trailer as always, um, a complete original storyboard for the film, and of course with Arrow Video these are reversible artwork. There's also, it's only one disc of this film, but it also comes with a collectible booklet. I do love the artwork on this booklet. The reverse artwork for this Blu-ray as well is amazing. I do love the reverse artwork. There's the title of the film in Russian, and I really do, I really do love this animated artwork. I won't give I won't give anything away but from this film because I really think you need to just walk in blind really. The trailer doesn't give much away whatsoever and the beginning of the film you you go in blind really, just the film starts with Matt Vey outside um his girlfriend's father's house with the hammer and I'm just gonna leave you there because it takes you on like a crazy story. It's really fast paced and I think the best way to watch this film is not knowing what you're in for and you'll I'll just tell you you'll love it. Overall, I'm going to give you, um, I'm not, I'm not a massive fan of subtitled films. I don't watch a lot of subtitled films, but I do think I will start watching more because about five minutes in, you didn't even recognise it were there. They're just so fast paced. It's so such a visual film. You don't really notice the subtitles after it after quite um after a few minutes. Overall, I'm going to give you. Overall, I'm going to give. Why don't you just die? A 5 out of 5. It's one of my favourite films and I've only ever watched it once and it will be on the frequent watch pile for me. 
as always, thanks for watching. If you do have any recommendations of any films that you want me to review, um, don't forget to put them in the comment section down below. Please like and subscribe.